Hello, I'm Lauren, owner and co-founder of prettyspirits.com. On this channel, we talk all things spirituality, manifestation, and entrepreneurship. Today, I'm coming to you with your self-love Sunday video. I give you a dose of Reiki to start off your week right. So let's get into it. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale. Deep inhale in. Exhale. Deep inhale in. Exhale. Relax the shoulders. Continue on your relaxing breaths. Relaxing the body. Relaxing all the muscles in the face. Allowing your shoulders to relax. Releasing any tension you're holding in the belly. Releasing any tension in the legs. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale. I'm going to take it back to the basics and walk you through a three-part breath. This is one of my favorite breath work techniques that I learned in yoga training. You're going to start with a deep inhale into the belly, a second inhale into the chest, and a third inhale into the throat. You're going to hold it for just a second and then exhale. So with me, deep inhale into the belly, inhale at the chest, inhale at the throat, and exhale. Try it again. Inhale belly, chest, throat and exhale third time belly chest throat and exhale sometimes it can feel like a ball of energy snowballing up and exiting the body through that exhale. So make sure that your exhale is audible, that it is releasing, that you feel that relief. Continue to cycle through the three-part breath. If you're not feeling it, you can go ahead and just focus on deep breathing to each his own. Go ahead and take deep breaths. And if you're ready to receive Reiki at this time, go ahead and affirm it with your energy. We're gonna start with some good old Nog Champa to cleanse you and ground you. Focus on your deep breaths as I connect with your energy and cleanse. I'm feeling like a sacral cleanse is really being called for right now. So just continue with your breath. If you'd like to place your hand right under your belly button and focus your breath there. You are more than welcome to. The Reiki will reach you either way. So let's cleanse that sacral. Is anything making you feel stuck, making you feel trapped, making you forget you are a creator, you are a creative being. Anything keeping you out of alignment for your manifestation, the things that you are asking for, anything blocking your beliefs. We're going to go ahead and breathe that out of the body right now. Deep inhale in. Exhale. Beautiful. Just keep going. Just keep breathing. Keep relaxing. Release any tension in the belly as we cleanse your sacral. Just going to draw any stagnant energy out of the body, allow it to flow. If you feel any tingling, just allow that energy to keep moving, keep going on its way. Imagine it traveling down your legs and out your feet into the earth. Deep inhale in, exhale. Beautiful. 
and let my incense sit. I continue to send you cleansing energy. We're gonna cleanse the heart next. We're gonna wrap it up with some grounding spray. Place your hand on your chest, draw your shoulders back, take a deep inhale in. Exhale. Open the shoulders even more, one more deep breath. Exhale. Beautiful, if you're someone who carries a lot of weight in their heart, who feels anxiety, stress, or overwhelm there, that is a breathing exercise that you can do throughout the day to release energy from your heart space. Just draw your shoulders back. Take the deepest inhale possible and blow it all out. Let's try it again. Open the shoulders, draw the shoulder blades down. Inhale in. And exhale. Beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna end with our Manifest Spray, which is a very, very grounding scent to help you ground all of the things you're asking for. Let's go ahead and take a deep inhale in. Mm, exhale. It's a very refreshing, earthy scent. You can find that on our website, prettyspirits.com. You can stay in this relaxing space for as long as you need to. As you are in your relaxing space, I want you to notice how long it lasts, and I want you to notice what draws you out of it. What in your external world or in your internal world disrupts the peace that you just spent six and a half minutes developing for yourself, stepping into for yourself? What tenses your body up? What thoughts, what uh, external circumstances, what going on around you in your world? strips that piece away or even just slightly disrupts it be aware of that take note of it and then see what you can do to prevent that specific thing from disrupting your peace in the future so whether it is changing your thought patterns healing a specific memory that is coming up that is disrupting your peace or maybe it's a long to-do list you know, writing that to-do list out and prioritizing it and assigning a day to it so that you know there's a plan and you don't have to hold that stress. It doesn't have to disrupt your, pe disrupt your peace any longer. Try that out. And if it is something outside of yourself, if it is someone else that is disrupting your peace, maybe it's time to start to set better boundaries or to turn your phone off. If your phone is disrupting your peace, there's so many things that you can do to take control over keeping the peace that you curate for yourself. So I want you to think about that as you move forward this week. That's your message of the week. I didn't even have to pull a card for you. Thank you so much for joining me for our Reiki moment. I hope that you are really feeling that peace and that it really truly lasts for you. If you would like to book a personal Reiki session with me to get started on your cleansing, to feel lighter, to feel less anxiety, to feel less stress and overwhelm, and to really start to take control over how your body is feeling day in and day out, then you can find me at prettyspirits.com under our services. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next week. Bye.